Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the background icon with the scroll into view element trigger. I say background icon, but it's more of a background element, background asset, background section break. It is going to be much larger than what we consider an icon. Let's look at what this is first, and then let's look at the effect that we're creating. This is our Lottie icon animation. And if we go and preview this, we'll see that there's a pretty big curve to it. And if I preview the animation, you'll see that it is flopping down. I don't know if flopping is the right term here, but it's creating a unique movement that is probably not that possible with interactions. Cool. So you can see that we have a background base set here and the background base is the parent of the Lottie. So we have background base. It's also our element trigger. And inside is our background icon, which is set to absolute and is extending above the base color. So even though there are two sides to this icon animation, it's actually it's actually animating the bottom part of this icon as well. We don't see it. It just looks like a single section break. And you can make this full width. It could be the entire size of the screen to indicate a brand new section of the site. It could be in line like this where maybe it's a testimonial section or a review section, a slider component, whatever. And let's actually preview this and see how it works when scrolled into view. So I scroll in and nice, looks great. Let's look at it on a live site and see a little bit more smoothness here. Nice, love it. Okay, let's see how this is done. So we have our element trigger as the base, which is the parent of our Lottie icon. And we're going to have an element trigger of scroll into view. And when I go into this, I have a scroll into view of background into view. Initial state of the Lottie is going to be 0%. And then we have for one second, that Lottie icon going to 100%. You can customize this value. Maybe you don't want as big of a, a dip. You can have it just a little bit, but I, you can not have the bounce even. You can see how it kind of bounces. You could stop it earlier and it just does one bounce, but we're gonna do the maximum bounceage. Nice, we're at 100% looking great. We decided to not have a wind scrolled out of view because this effect I think is best seen once. If you see it too many times back and forth, it could be overkill. But if you want to go ahead and set that new animation and set it back to 0% when it scrolls out of view. And it's really that simple to have this custom, custom section break and animation as the user is scrolling to a new section of the site. That's how you implement a background icon with a scroll into view element trigger. That's effing sweet.